Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a track beer. This one is... Is it? Oh, it's track and rock the boat. Um, this one is the Gold Top Dipper and this one is made with Idaho 7, Strata and Raku. And it's 8.5% and there is all right there. I didn't know this was a rock the boat beer or a collab. Um, because it doesn't say anything about it at all anywhere. Um, I've had rocked the boat. Mm, not really impressed. But if it's not rocked the boat, then that's what the name is called. That's the name of the beers is rocked the boat. But I'm not really sure. Anyway, there's the can with the artwork. Not on the back. Guff wise, it's just that. Um, and then obviously the gold top i've had a few of the gold tops before and some of them i've been impressed with some of them i've been not so impressed with so i'm hoping this is another one that will impress me if not then um i don't really have high standards for these ones um because they've not all been that good i think the first one was pretty bad um second yeah i've had a few um but i always remember the first one not being that impressive but i've had some good ones so yeah it's going to be either hit or miss with me so with all that said because um, there's no other guff, like I say, it's just 8.5 and it's gold top. Let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Oh, I'll tell you what, we've got a full beer right to the brim there. Right, so I'll pull the rest in a second, but there is the beer. Uh, we've got ourselves a nice pineapple juice, tropical juice looking beer with an ivory, um, yeah, ivory compact head. There you go. Looks quite nice. Let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Those pineapples, definitely. And mangoes. Really, really fruity, really exotic. Some passion fruit in there. Oh, that smells really good. Mangoes, pineapple, passion fruit. Bit of grapefruit. It smells really, really nice. Um, let's get a mouthful for body and carb. Carbs really light, body medium to full bodied. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. It's bitter. Wasn't expecting that. It's, it's quite bitter. Um, let's say eight point five. 8.5, yeah, well hidden. Um, nothing really stands out about the 8.5. That flavour is really bitter. Um, quite orangey as well. There's no orange in the smell, but it's quite orangey flavour wise. Um, there's a hint of mango, hint of pineapple. Not much really in the passion fruit or grapefruit side of things. It's got this something about it. I can't figure out what it is. like a coconut taste or something something fruity but not sweet fruity like co like coconut flakes or something um, I'm not really sure it's interesting it's juicy it's sweet it's fruity it also has this mellower side to it Hmm, not entirely sure. Smells is completely different from the flavour. Um, it's really different from the flavour. I'm not sure what I think of this one. Oh. Any indication on the can? 
not no no indication of flavours at all, Macau. Yeah. It's got this really ripe, fruity, fresh taste to it. Um, from oranges, from the hint of uh, mangoes, you know, passion fruit and all that. Doesn't really have that citrus from the grapefruit or pineapple, none that's coming through, even though that was on the smell. Ooh, pardon me. It's bitter. It has this really pithy bitterness to it. Um, it's got this coconutty taste as well. I'm not entirely sure what I think about this one. It's very, very... I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Intriguing is the word I'll use. Just because it is. It's it's different. And I like different beers. If they're pulled off well. Um, I wouldn't say this one's entirely a well done beer. Um, I've had better gold tops before. But it's not the worst one. It's not their worst one. Um, yeah, it's just an interesting one. Very, very different. Very strange. Not exactly what I expected. Um, don't know if it is a collab with Rock the Boat or not. They don't. Rock the Boat don't have a logo. <coughs> it is just Rock the Boat. So if it is a collab, then yeah, there you go. If it's not, then that's the name of the beer. I'm not entirely sure. I'll look it up after this video, even though I probably shouldn't. Should have done it beforehand. Um, but yeah. Not really sure what I think about this one. Flavour wise it's nice. Um, could be better. Could be a lot worse. I mean. Yeah. Could be a lot worse. 8.5. Very well hidden. Um, I think the bitterness in it is the only thing that reminds me that it being. A bit stronger. A bit on the double IPA side. I'd say without that bitterness. I'd probably drink this right up. It's a bit dangerous really. Um, but. Sometimes dangerous beer is nice. Um, so, I'm going to go away and enjoy this because it's good. It needs more. Um, I don't know what it is lately. I seem to have been a bit strict on the beers. They're all not hitting the mark for me. They're just not doing it. And I don't know what it is. Um, probably the energy crisis or something. And they can't really make as good beers because it costs a lot more money to make. And if they're doing that and charging for stuff that would cover the energy price, it'd be paying £25 for a can or something like that. Anyway, um, that might be what it is in general, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me. But, um, yeah, it's okay, it can be better, it can be a lot worse. So, I think with that, I'll go away and enjoy it, because I spent money on it, don't remember how much I bought it. I got it from Priestown, um, I don't, again, don't know how much I bought it for. Um, so, yeah. Like I say, I'll go away and enjoy this one, because um, it's good, could be better. So, track, uh, is it Rock the Boat, or is it just is that just the name of the beer? Anyway, the Gold Top Dipper, with Idaho 7, Strata, and Ra Raku, um, at 8.5%. I forgot to say, um, it's one of these sort of ongoing things that track do, where they just change out. It's always a dipper, and it I think it's always 85 but they always change out the combination of hops to see what they can make, which is a good idea. I quite like that idea because you always get something different. You always get a nice new beer, even though it's the same thing. Um, just different coloured cans. So I, th I quite like the idea that they've done with it. Sometimes you get stuff that really hits home and it's just great. Other times you just haven't got a home run and that's fine. It's it's about experimenting. That's, you know, um, pardon me. It's all different for everyone as well. So beers that I don't like, you might absolutely love and vice versa. So, um, yeah. I think with this one, I'm going to give it a 7 though, 7 out of 10. I can see the appeal, I could see where it was going, it just didn't get it for me. Um, so yeah, it's getting a 7 out of 10. So, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know if you think, if you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Track's website down below. Um, if I find out if it's a collab or not, I'll also leave a link to Rock the Boat. If it's not, it'll just be Track, and that's how you'll find out. Also off the title. Um, if you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.